Hi guys, welcome to Igno Talk. Here I'm going to talk about how to prepare for your MEG poetry exam. The exams are coming. It's 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 pretty close, and you probably may have overwhelmed uh, with the number of textbooks you have received from Igno before, and you may not have even started reading it, or you may have tried it and then got bored. Uh, one of the ways uh, that I can recommend you to do your preparation for the British drama, uh, British uh, poetry, is by making a list of all the poems you have to study. So take a list of all the poems you have to study and then uh, search for the summaries. So after you search for the summaries, you can uh, get an idea of what the poem is about. So make a list of all the, the poems you have to study and prepare for the exam. Look for the summaries. There are many websites available on the internet like Schmoop and uh, eNotes, etc. etc. So write the summaries of all the poems, main characters and uh, the story of it. You can also download the uh, audiobooks if that's possible. So uh, the next step, step number one, was making the summary of all the poems and uh, poets. And then after that, uh, make, no, make a note of all the poets and their, their, their times uh, of writing the poem. And categorize the, uh, the uh, history, I mean the dates of it, the time when they wrote the poems. So understand that one. So step number one was getting the summary of all the poems, not from the textbook, but from the internet or other sources. Then you uh, make a short list of the poets of these poems and understand uh, their time. Uh, what, what, what kind of poet is he? Is, uh, was he? What was the year uh, when he wrote the poem, and etc. etc. So by finishing all these two steps, you probably will reach in a uh, in a position where you can understand at least the summary of it and the dates, which you can easily include uh, when you begin to write the answers of the poems. And this is so helpful for not only just giving the answers for detailed analysis of the questions but also you can use the information you studied from step one and step two at the beginning of the paragraphs when you answer for annotation type of questions as well. Now step three is to go back to the old question papers. Uh, you can download the old question papers from the IGNO site. So at least I recommend downloading three uh, previous years question papers and read it. So by reading it, you can understand the type of questions, the type of the stream, how IGNO asks the questions for your term and writing exam. So once you understand that, try to find out the answers of all these three years previous question papers from the blocks of the IGNO textbooks. It will make you not only a focused reader, but also it will make you like increase, increase your confidence uh, because you first of all you just go out you go and uh, search and look through the textbooks the units of poetry and uh, you will find some of the answers and by by going through that method you will also cover some of the portions that you will not normally read if you don't actually uh, if you don't actually read the textbooks now uh, the reason why we find the answers, we search for the answers of these previous year question papers is to actually make yourself read and go through the pages and the blocks in the textbooks so that you can understand what kinds, of what types of uh, questions you can expect from the exam. Plus, sometimes they repeat the question, so you don't necessarily are actually doing it expecting to uh, you know for some questions to repeat in your exam but to actually understand an overall idea uh, about what kinds of questions uh, to expect so that's what step number three and step number four is to actually make notes from the books according to the previous year's question 
uh, questions. So what happens when you do this is you will not only go through all the blocks searching for the answers from these question papers, by doing that you will also come across uh, some of the interesting idea and data regarding the poems and poetry, their period and some other cultural and political aspects uh, towards poetry. So uh, that's I think you know how you can prepare not only actually poetry but also other subjects as well. Now cracking the poetry is actually very difficult for MEG students because they uh, write vague answers. Now when I tried in my exam, when I finished my image in 2014 by the way, so first time when I wrote my image first, I failed. The reason it happened because I wrote vague answers. So I just uh, 